Don't let all the construction noise at UC Santa Cruz's Kresge College fool you. New dorms have opened just in time for the new school year. Because it's a new building, it has like nice <laughs> everything. Nicholas Standifer is an RA at one of the new residence halls. Last year, he lived in Kresge College's freshman apartments. Why I actually applied for Kresge and why a lot of people do is because freshmen are actually given apartments. And so all of Kresge used to be apartments. There were no dorms, so everyone had a kitchen. My apartment had eight people living in it, and that was kind of standard, eight to ten people per room. Those apartments have been torn down. This marks the end of phase one for the Kresge College project, which when completed, will have nearly 990 beds. But for now, here at Kresge, there are three new residence halls, a 25,000 square foot academic center, and a new ADA compliant bridge. Knowing that housing is such a difficult uh, area for, for our community, for our students, for our employees. Uh, so Kresge is one piece of a much bigger picture that we're working on. Also in the works for UCSC, a joint affordable housing project with Cabrillo Community College, which will be built on its soccer field. It will house 624 students from both schools. The project was included as part of a state budget bill recently passed by Governor Newsom. For our purposes at Cabrillo College, really it's a no-cost uh, win for our, our college and our students. It'll be a state-financed uh, residence hall. This is one of three new housing projects between a UC and a community college, and it's the first joint partnership of its kind between the two. To the extent where you have um, community colleges right, right there next door or within 10 miles of a UC or a CSU campus, I think it's going to become more common for shared housing facilities and arrangements with those universities.